An amazing new kind of concrete could transform roads, houses, even fences into a vast array of interconnected batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. This new concrete is, well, mind blowing. With the advent of artificial intelligence or AGI, artificial general intelligence and quantum computing, we could see an even better version of this concrete, making the concept of this futuristic concrete actually real. A next generation energy storage system made of cement and an ancient ink has the potential to massively scale up renewable energy operations by transforming homes and roads into giant batteries. That's according to the scientists, of course, who invented it. Now, a certain degree of skepticism is needed when we hear any of these kinds of big claims. But a team from the Massachusetts University of Technology, or MIT, who, which is a pretty prestigious institution, and also from the WIS Institute in the United States, unveiled the design only around a week ago, claiming that supercapacitors made of this material have incredible potential to assist in the world's transition to clean energy. This material is fascinating because you have the most used man-made material in the world, cement, that is combined with carbon black. That is a well-known historical material. The Dead Sea Scrolls were actually written with it, said MIT professor Admir Masik, who was involved in this research. You have these at least two millennia old materials that when you combine them in a specific manner, you come up with a conductive nano composite. And that's when things get really, really interesting. The concrete mix of cement and carbon black only requires water, making it a very low cost alternative to other energy storage systems being developed to allow energy networks to remain stable during fluctuations to renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and tidal power. Now, of course, what this means is sometimes there isn't any sun, sometimes there isn't any wind as well, and often we don't have much tidal power. So just relying on solar and wind, of course, we need battery storage in addition to that to make that all work. And that's the key here, potentially turning concrete into battery storage. The researchers say their supercapacitor could be used in the concrete foundations of a house to provide an entire day's worth of energy without adding any additional construction costs at all. This truly, to me, sounds too good to be true. If it hadn't have come from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, I wouldn't have believed it. They say it could even eventually be used on concrete roadways and paths to provide contactless recharging for electric cars as they travel. And when you consider the fact that it's true that wireless technology does work today, Tesla just bought a wireless charging company. Uh, there's wireless highways now being deployed throughout Europe. The researcher said this, there is a huge need for big energy storage. That's where our technology is extremely promising because cement is ubiquitous and it offers a new way of looking toward the future of concrete as part of the energy transition. Most people are aware of the fact that concrete, it's actually really bad. It's one of those incredibly carbon intensive products. It's, it's just not a good product for humanity and for the world in general. So, if we could change that by not just laying point, sort of pointless concrete slabs and pathways that are good for humans to travel on but do nothing else. If we could turn them into having a dual purpose of also being for battery storage, that is incredible. Early applications, where will they be? Obviously, it has to start small. They'll likely be with isolated homes or buildings equipped with solar panels that do not have access to grid power. So it'd be perfect for off-grid storage, smaller communities, smaller towns, even mining towns. The concrete mixture can also be adjusted to serve other uses, the scientists said, such as heating systems. A paper detailing the research titled Cement Supercapacitors as a Scalable Energy Storage Solution was published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences on Monday. I think this actually makes a lot of sense, but the problem here is I'm struggling to get my head around the fact that this would not add any significant cost. I mean, 
surely there has to be some cost involved in manufacturing this new concrete. Now, we don't have the full complete details on how this would work yet or whether or not it really will work, but it really could be one of those few projects that does take off. Let's hope it is. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.